got uh, CEO and founder of Kind Every Time, Mr. Joe Drexler. We also have, have ambassador for the Kind Every Time anti-bullying campaign, the beautiful Candace Ryan with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having us. It's We're a, happy to be oh, here. It's a pleasure. Headphones are working. <laughs> <laughs> All this kerfuffle to get headphones and they're not working for me. That's all right. <laughs> welcome. 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 Thank you guys Thank so you. much. Thanks for coming in. It was worth a 38-hour drive from Ontario. <laughs> 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 happy to be here at CFWE Edmonton. <laughs> now, uh, let, let's start off by... Uh, Tell us about Kind Every Time, why it started, uh, what the the program is yeah. about. and. Thank you. So back in 2008, I founded an organization by the name of Be The Game. Mm -hmm. It's all about building strong kids from the inside out. We had so much success with our messaging and programming in and throughout minor sports for kids that could not afford sport. And we would host camps in the weekends, do events in parks and whatnot. And the kids started wearing their T-shirts into schools. So then the school started calling us saying, we see these uh, shirts with the messaging. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? So to make a long story short, we presented the idea to various school boards mm -hmm. in Ontario. And they loved it. They said, could you come in and speak with our students about this? And I thought, if we're going to do this, if we're going to really do this, it's not just about anti-bullying mm -hmm. and to be honest with you bullying is almost I think is the word bullying is almost being overused today not to discredit it mm -hmm. but everybody's going okay I'm being bullied because I got shoved that's not right in its own right too right. but what we're really focusing on is the long-term effects of what we call bullying today and that is the reality that if it's not dealt with accordingly we are looking at children that are being diagnosed with depression at a very young age mm -hmm. because of the schoolwork that we do we see kids in grade four and five on medication today because wow. they just don't know how to deal with right. it. We're living in an era where, uh, you know, when I was a kid, and Candace will share her story as well, from grades three to five, I was bullied. And my bully, Patrick Kirkpatrick, uh, you can't even make that name up, it's fantastic. <laughs> Patrick Kirkpatrick, he would chase me home every single day, but mm -hmm. I, I was always faster than him, and I could get home, lock my door, and I'm safe. Today, kids can run home, lock their door, but because of technology, right. smartphones, computers, there's so much hate. Cyberbullying has become so... Um, negative in our world today that we, we, we pulled children and we said if you could just have a wrestling match with your bully and get it over with get a couple noogies on the forehead mm -hmm. and be okay with it would you rather do that or deal with the online tormenting that goes on and on and on all of them right i'll mm -hmm. wrestle first so we we go into the schools and we don't just go in for one day we go in and we teach them our program we start building the foundation with them. The key thing about our program is this. We get them excited, and we get them believing that they are worth it, and we get them believing that we have to make mm -hmm. the change. It's not about somebody coming in telling us that bullying's bad. Kids know that. It's a learned behavior. So when we give them the tools to create the change and they take part in our program, we become part of their school community, not just for one day, not just for the 21-day Kind Every Time Challenge, the entire year now. So we're really excited about it. So it's all about creating foundational sustainable change because I never wanted to be one of those uh, organizations where we went into schools and said, okay, kids, be good, don't be bad. It's never been about money for us. It's always been about the actual effects of our programs. I, I say this, um, there's a lot of people that are jumping on the quote-unquote bandwagon mm -hmm. because they may have a popular name or so forth and they can go into a school and they can get a quick paycheck. If it was about the money, I could book six or seven of my presentations a day and live happily ever after. Right. It's not about that. Mm -hmm. We got to go in, we spend the entire day with a student, with, with the school, sorry, and we create that foundation with mm -hmm. them. And we get kids coming up to us afterwards and they say, Mr. Joe, they call me that in schools, Mr. Joe, I never knew my words were so powerful. The, uh, the old nursery rhyme, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt. Mm -hmm. It's an outright lie. Somebody should actually sue that song. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy because, you know, can you imagine being called a loser, being uh, degraded every single day? I don't care who you are, how thick your mm -hmm. skin is, eventually it's going to break you down. And Candace's yeah. story oh, is probably reflective of that. Words yeah. hurt mm -hmm. more than anything. I mean, I don't think I've ever been pushed or shoved or beat up in school, but I was... You know, called thunder thighs, fat ass, you know, just people would, I'd walk mm -hmm. down the hallways and they'd throw themselves against the wall as if I was this giant person. And I, I really wasn't that big in school, but because they called me, you know, fat all the time that, you know, now I'm just going to drown my sorrows in, in eating and, and hide myself away. Like, mm -hmm. and thank God for music that I had that to escape to. But yeah, and just finding Joe and knowing that I can now, I mean, I lost a hundred pounds as you guys know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
that started to build my confidence. I mean, I was 24 learning how to build my confidence. That should never happen. Right. Kids should be confident from the time they're born, learning to walk, learning to talk, interact, all the way to bringing that to adulthood mm -hmm. and bringing their happiness and their confidence to, to spread it around. And, and unfortunately, it's not the world we live in now. And you know, Candace, the story is, uh, <clears throat> is really uh, deeply impacting mm -hmm. because uh, there's a lot of young girls and young boys out there that are battling weight issues. And sadly, you know, uh, kids don't realize that they're hurting somebody when they do, you know, move to the side, do call that, that, that name. Could you imagine if Candace went home at the age of 14, thank God Facebook wasn't around then, oh, and yeah. uh, she yeah. jumped online and she read something that she was tagged in, like this status if you think Candace has thunder thighs, and she says she sees 700 likes. Nobody really knows her, but everybody thinks, oh, Click, 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 because that's funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's going to tear kid it down. You know, in the classroom's got his cell phone out, and, well, I can just take that picture. She ain't going to know, and I'll put that online. And, you know, yeah. she bends over. Let's take a picture <clears throat> of her wide butt sitting there, you know. There's just yeah. so many cruel things that kids can do, especially with having phone access right. and, and Instagram and just things that could just totally screw your life up. The Kira Isabella song, Quarterback. I was heartbroken when I watched that video. Mm -hmm. Like, that brought me to tears. Like, just one moment, yeah. a girl thinks she's being treated nicely by a boy, <clears throat> and it totally is the complete opposite, mm -hmm. and he just does it to make himself feel better. Right. Yeah, it ruins it, her life. And, you know, it's. Uh, I looked at it this way. Um, if we just focus on the problem, what I like to call bullying today is the virus. Mm -hmm. And I look at our program as being a remedy for it because we have proven success. Over 225,000 students positively impacted. Over 750,000 random acts of kindness have been performed by these same students mm -hmm. that are logged and validated by the schools. But we focus on the solutions. We focus on the outcomes. We focus on the fact that it does take repetition to create change. Yep. And that's why the 21-day challenge was created. But today... Uh, with the help of uh, one of our uh, wonderful friends and colleagues, Natalie Richet, a teacher from Ottawa. You know, my daughter, Samantha, who's in studio with us this morning. Mm -hmm. We travel across Canada and we visit schools. And, you know, we're going up to Fort McMurray, Alberta, for the entire month of October because they said we don't want it in one school. We want it in all 24 schools. So wow. the local kin clubs right. and the connect clubs um, basically pay the entire bill to have us come up there for the entire month. And that's what we're doing now. It's because... We're not just going in to preach. We're going in to teach, mm -hmm. and we get such a following. You know, Candace is talking about, you know, kids with smartphones, and they can be in school, and they can like things, post hate messages yeah. and all that. Um, imagine a world where we just get kids thinking about, okay, so if I like this or if I comment on this or share this, this is going to create and spread more negativity. Mm -hmm. We're getting them to think about their actions now because... Sadly, we live in a day and age where everything's just on fast forward. Yeah. So we're, we're super proud. So we focus on the solution. As a result of that, we're in high demand across Canada and in the USA. We've got a major movement happening. And I'm wow. just, you know, when, when Candace and I connected, um, you know, I said to her, I said, we're, we're, we're really thinking about, you know, creating a song. Uh, for the kids to be mm -hmm. proud of. And we had another gentleman working on a few different uh, ideas, and, and he and Candace tried to collaborate a little bit, and Candace uh, basically sent me some lyrics, and I fell in love with it immediately. She made a couple changes. She took our core messaging. We're all the same color in the dark. Help, not hurt. Kind every time. You know, uh, you can change the world. And she put her story into it. Mm -hmm. And when she sings the song, I get chills and I'm sitting here. Hey, can anybody see these chills? Because these are happening right now. I can feel them. Oh, I just thought it was the air conditioning. Yeah. But when she when she sings it, I saw her in studio yesterday at CTV and uh, it, you, you could see her pain and her passion and her happiness all mixed together yeah. like a beautiful burrito. Well, she's done that. she did that to me last summer. You made me cry that one song that you sang to your mom. Oh, yeah. And I remember that all the time. And I, I'll see my mom and I'll think of that song. And I'm just like, oh, my God. That's why I was happy that you're here today. Oh, Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, we've got Joe Dre uh, Drexler, CEO and, co and founder of Kind Every Time and ambassador for the Kind Every Time uh, movement, Candice Ryan. Uh, now, speaking of, uh, of that single, the song is called Kind Every Time. Yes. It's available on iTunes. And 100% of the proceeds go to this program. I don't take nothing. I wrote this for Joe and the team and the kids. And yeah. when he sent huh. me the very first picture of the kids dancing to, that, to, to our song, it was just like, it made me so incredibly happy. Yeah. I was 
There's no words. Her voice, her song, her message yeah. is going to be heard across Canada, USA because of it. It's going to be played in every school. It's included in every single package. Mm-hmm. We're so excited. And I even said to uh, Candace, I said, like, okay, so how much do you need? She goes, what do you mean? Nothing. Yeah. No, because every time somebody downloads a song, literally one student gets to receive our program because our core costs is literally around the 50 cent mark, our cost. So every time a download happens, you can feel good. It's a great song for kids to listen to. It's very catchy. Like, I actually want to sing it right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, it is catchy. And I sing it with my kids in the car. We've done some uh, YouTube videos. Yeah. Remember that? Candace just loved that. And uh, you know what? We're just blessed to have wonderful people around our organization now. We've got NHL players, yeah. CFL guys, and uh, I won't say it, but a Calgary Stampeder. But, uh, but no, Candace, Candace has been a, a true blessing because she was impacted yeah. by it. Yeah. She knows the feeling. Yeah. You also have bracelets as well that people can purchase. I yes. Yeah. So we have, and we have some, um, did we bring some? We're going to make sure everybody here in the studio gets them too. Nice. But yeah, kind every time, help not hurt bracelets. Mm-hmm. They're baby blue. They were made actually inspired by my youngest daughter because her favorite color is blue. And she said, Dad, every time you see the color blue when you're on the road, you'll think of me. So how does that not melt your heart, right? So all my kids support us and, uh, and, uh, and do that so they can get them at... Uh, uh, kindeverytime.com or our parent site which is be the game.ca we have a section called shop to help you can order a bracelet every bracelet that's ordered mm-hmm. helps eight students wow so we'll ship them out the very next day and we've got a massive movement happening so nice. we're really happy about it yeah i see what, the bracelet is it has got peace signs i love peace signs yeah it's got peace signs already there is all it's all i wear is peace signs man right on no and you know what and my son's 16 and uh, he's he, he took a first look at the bracelet and he goes I don't know, Dad. It's baby blue. It's got a red heart on it. And I said, okay, well, I understand that. He said, I said, maybe you can design one that boys could wear. He goes, well, let me take it. You know what? Every one of his buddies, we're talking great, 10, 11 kids, love them. Wow. wow. That's so awesome. it, You didn't have to make any change. No, no, no. no. So it's, it's awesome to see that. Now, you're here uh, especially for an event, a fundraising event that's happening in NISCU tomorrow. Yes. Tell us about it. Um... Well, my band, this will be our first headlining show, and I wanted to do something special for Joe coming down uh, because I knew he had to do some stuff, and I was like, let's let's hold a fundraiser. Yeah, yeah. Unreal. (laughs) And I'm like, this will be so much fun. Let me, I'll find a place, I'll... Make sure the band's already. We'll get everything organized and and. Yeah, you literally it. said, Joe, you just drive your forty hours. I'll set everything up. <laughs> <laughs> just get here. So we did that. <laughs> yeah, so it's it'll be an amazing night of uh, you know old country. We do everything from Johnny Cash to ACDC, like everything you can fit in between. <laughs> Sam's excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do everything. Like, we just want to get everybody dancing and get everyone out there. And we got a whole night planned, and we have a live auction. Yeah. Uh, my really good friends at the Oil Kings mm-hmm. gave us a s- autographed stick. From the Mem Cup champs. Yeah, it's my boy. Go, Oil Kings, go. I know. <laughs> You know, when they tell me that, you know, I was the lucky charm. That oh. <laughs> you are, you are. It was all their talent. I, was just, their I just get everyone sound. hyped up at the beginning. <clears throat> no, it was really cool of them to do that, to help us out. And uh, we've got a couple other uh, Oilers autographs. Taylor Hall, right? Yeah, we've got a signed Taylor Hall hat in a, a shadow box. And I believe it's an, an Everly hat as well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we got some amazing items uh, for silent auction and live auction. And we're not expecting you to come down and buy a ticket or buy a ticket online and come down. We want you to just come down mm-hmm. and just give us, you know, a cash donation. Put all the silent auction items. We even got, like, a Lacoste watch. Wow. Donated to us. Thanks to your mom, like, right? Yeah. Nice. And the awesome people. Nice. What, and what we want people to understand is come on out, hear about what we're doing. Again, it's it's a massive movement, and we do so much work in Alberta. Like I said, Fort Mac for the entire yeah. month of October. So awesome. uh, Sam and I are going to be up there working with the wonderful community there. And 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 it, like she said, we, we thought, should we sell tickets? No, we want people to come down. Uh, if you have a dollar to give at the door, give a dollar. You're mm-hmm. going to get a you're going to get a, a door price ticket because yeah. of that. Come on in, have a good time. Candace is going to rock the house in the silver hammers, and uh, I might even get up there and rock a couple songs with them. I don't know. I, we're going to play kind every there. time. And we're going to play kind every time and uh oh we also have a signed 
Edmonton Oilers jersey mm-hmm. from the lockout year. So we've got Eberle, um, we've got Hall, we've got Sam Gagne, who's now a former Oiler. We've got a lot of big mm-hmm. names on there, Alice Hemsky. Okay. So it's going to be great. And that comes with a, uh, a card right from the CEO and president's assistant that's attached to the jersey because it came right from the oilers uh, office right. so we've just got tons of stuff happening and and you know we have so many community sponsors and uh gosh i could literally sit here and talk about it all yeah. day <laughs> but i know everybody actually has to work <laughs> if, people, if people want more information how could they uh get in contact or maybe pe- there's people out there that might want you to come down to their community absolutely yeah they can contact me through um Either one of our sites. Our parent site is be the game.ca. That's our okay. corporate um, uh, identity. And then the Kind Every Time movement is literally kindeverytime.com. Uh, they can tweet me uh, at be the game. And Candace is uh, yep. at I am Candace Ryan. Am yep. I saying that right? And uh, CandaceRyan.ca. Yep. I always have all the, the new news on the, the mm-hmm. front page and, and even blogs. Like I like to just write about weird little yep. things because I'm. Oh, I don't know. When I start talking, I'm, <laughs> I speak from the heart. <laughs> and what time does I get underway there tomorrow? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. So yeah, come on down at eight o'clock. We're gonna. We'd love to have you. Yeah, absolutely. Our band's gonna kick off around nine. So. We're gonna actually do something fun. Candace doesn't know about it, but we're gonna do a little <laughs> selfie challenge, and everybody's gonna be taking selfies at a certain spot. And I'm just totally like rolling with this right now. Yeah. And. Uh, and Candace is like the queen of selfies. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to challenge uh, everybody for selfies. So, yeah, but thanks for having us, guys. Well, You're thank welcome. you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. And again, they could go to the website for more information Correct. or come down to the event tomorrow night. Yeah. Please, Please come to Blackjacks. Please come to Blackjacks.